What's up, y'all? What's up, Sag? How you doing, baby? What's up, Sagittarius? It's just season. Happy birthday to all my Saggies out there. Happy birthday to all the Sagittarius out there that are currently celebrating. If you have celebrated already, happy belated birthday, Sag. It's your season, baby. And because it's your season, Sag, you already know that you get a bonus read. So this is your first December love reading, but then I will do a bonus reading for you as well, okay? Because it is your season, all right? So you guys get a bonus read because it's your season. All right, Sag, what's up? I hope you're doing good, baby. I hope your season is treating you well. I hope this December has been good to you. This is your December love reading. I'm going to do singles first, then couples, and then I'm going to go down the list of the Zodiac from Aries to Pisces, listen out for the sign that you are currently dealing with or are interested in, and listen to the messages, okay? They may or may not resonate. A lot of this information can be future energy as well, so keep that in mind. Also, Sag, check out your moon, Venus, and or rising star videos as well because those may resonate as well all right these all love readings so check out those videos as well if you know your chart baby okay you should know your chart it's important that you guys know your chart okay your chart is your fate get to know your chart especially if you're watching tarot you should know your chart baby that should be something that is of extreme importance to you okay it is your fate but all right sag i ain't gonna get on here and start preaching to y'all all right Singles first, couples, then Aries through Pisces. Listen out for the sign that you're dealing with, the sign that you're interested in. Keep in mind that the roles are interchangeable, okay? So if it's your story, baby, just flip the roles as you see fit. If I'm not telling it in the way that you, you know, you know it to be true. So if I say it's you and you know that it's your partner instead, then just flip the roles. Keep in mind that genders are neutral. We both, we both, we all have masculine and feminine energies, okay? So if I say he and it's a she, then just flip it, baby. Don't get too caught up on the pronouns that I use. Also, don't try to force this story to fit. If it's not your story, baby, it's not your story. Maybe next time, maybe your moon, Venus, and rising videos resonate better for you, okay? That is a possibility, Satch. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get down to these singles reads than couples all right but anyways if you guys do want to um book a personal reading with me all that information for where you can reach me is in the description box below okay so you guys can reach out to me via email or you can reach out to me through social media or on instagram i do answer both fairly quickly you will get a response i am fully booked for like i would say waiting time now is is about a week and a half two weeks okay um i got really uh backed up uh due to the cyber week sale that i recently had so the waiting time right now is about two weeks but like i said i respond fairly quickly and i can get you booked and ready to go so you can hold your spot okay because the spots have been filling up thank you guys for all your support thank you for keeping me busy i am super oh excuse me guys i'm super grateful i just don't know how many times i can say thank you like i am just so grateful thank you so much for rocking out for me and while you at it sash give me a thumbs up for this video okay give me a thumbs up if you're feeling this video all right share this video with your friends family whoever you think may be interested and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already what are you waiting on y'all know we have a good time here y'all know i'm a lot of fun sad you already know what time it is i feel like i could be really 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 blunt with y'all because y'all the same fucking way you feel me um but um i'm blunt with every sign but sag i feel like i shouldn't have an issue out of you baby because you already know what time it is you already know how it is all right sag so subscribe to the channel i feel like you'll like it here i feel like our energies would mesh really well all right sag so sag singles let's see what spirit has for you today let's see the messages spirit has for you regarding love sag singles Spirit, I ask that you protect me during this time as I channel these messages for the star sign of Sagittarius. Okay. Also protect those who are currently viewing as well. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius? Sagittarius singles in the month of December. Spirit, what love messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are currently single in the month of December? Okay. Okay, Sagittarius singles. Y'all not listening? To spirit a lot of y'all are ignoring red flags y'all ignoring signs y'all ignoring warrant warnings warning signs caution signs y'all ignoring the red flags yeah sag you ignoring the red flags sagittarius singles this is pointing out to me that a lot of you are being very stubborn okay and ignoring the red flags ignoring the signs that you that the universe have been uh signaling to you 
universe has been trying to communicate to you, Sag, and you've been turning a blind eye to that shit. Yeah, because you want to be set in your ways, Sag. Some of y'all are being very stubborn, okay? Very stubborn, set in y'all ways, and guess what? Being this way, the chariot reverse. Being this way, Sag, it's only going to keep you stuck. It's only going to keep you stagnant. It's only going to keep you blocked, baby. I see here that many of you have your own negative behaviors and traits that you need to release. It's time to release this so that you can heal and so that you can move forward in life. The tower reverse. It's time to release this. And Sag, but this is also telling me with the chariot reverse and the tower, guess what? You being stubborn and you not releasing what it is that you need to release. The universe is going to make you very uncomfortable, okay? You got a tower moment coming up. This is a transformation. This is a closing of a cycle. So what you holding on to and what you being stubborn, you know, towards and what you turning a blind eye towards is going to come crashing down regardless. So the universe is giving you an option right now to either comply and release or you could go through a really, really tough time. And you won't have no choice but to release this because it'll be snatched from you or you'll reach rock bottom. So you could either comply and do the right thing now and walk away and release this or you could reach rock bottom. And I feel like this don't even necessarily have to do with a love connection. These are love messages, but this could be anything, Sag. This could be anything about you that is negative. Anything about you that's a low vibe right now. Some of you could have a drinking issue, okay? You could be doing something excessively, okay? And that is that is going to be detrimental to your health and your well-being. It's time for you to release these uh, toxic patterns, these behaviors and traits. And when it comes to love, I feel like a lot of you are ignoring red flags and messages and signals from the universe. And this is keeping you blocked and stagnant in life. A lot of you could be feeling really stuck in life. Like you don't have no direction. And you feel that way because you are um, trying to avoid change. You're resisting change. Okay, Sag? Yeah. A lot of you are not communicating. You need to communicate. Some of you are being extremely um, manipulative towards other people. Sag? Okay? This is all pointing out to me that this is you doing this, baby. But if you feel like it's the person that you're currently dealing with, then so be it. I'm seeing here that you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Capricorn or Virgo, okay? But Sag, it's time to put your boots on, baby. It's time to put your big girl drawers on. It's time to put your put your boots on, strap them up, and, and do what you need to do. And stop going back to the past. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. You keep going back to the past. You keep looking back at the past. The, there's nothing there for you in the past. I'm letting you know that right now. This past person, this past situation, it's a done deal. The four wands reverse. It's a done deal. Separation, divorce. It's a done deal, Sag. It's, you miss this person, okay? But it's time for you to move on. The Six of Swords. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to release this. It's time for you to heal. Okay? This is not the end of the world, baby. A lot of you are feeling really crushed right now, feeling like it's the end of the world. Sag, I don't want to see this energy for you, baby. It's your season. You guys, come on now. It's your season, baby. Why am I getting this message? Y'all got to get it together. Sad, you know I love you. Get it together, mama. Yeah, the sun reverse. A lot of y'all are unhappy. A lot of y'all are very unhappy. Okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a Pisces. I feel like this person is only coming towards you to sleep with you. And in return, you're going to feel betrayed and heartbroken. And I have the Hierophant reverse. So you could be dealing with a, a, a Pisces, a Leo, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a, um, a, a Cancer, or a Taurus. Okay? But this person is coming around only to sleep with you. And I see no commitment, no stability. I see heartbreak. I see betrayal. I see sadness. I see depression. So this person is only coming for a good time, not a long time. Sag, Ten of Pentacles reverse. There is no happiness here. There is no happy home. A lot of you just want attention. Sag, you are craving a lot of attention. Sagittarius singles, I'm seeing here that a lot of y'all are just craving attention from anybody. You'll take attention from anybody. Come on, baby. Don't do that, Sag. Come on, Sag. Come on, baby. This is this is not your energy. It's time to get your power back, baby. This is not the energy that I, that I want to see for y'all. All right? A lot of y'all have a new beginning. 
A lot of y'all have a new beginning on the horizon, but you just need to release this past energy. I see a lot of codependency here for y'all. Nine of Pentacles reverse. A lot of y'all are blocking y'all blessings and stunting y'all growth. It's time to believe in yourself, Sag. It's time to move forward. Believe in yourself. Believe that you could do whatever it is that you want to do on your own. You don't need an entourage. You don't need a partner. You don't need somebody to uplift you, baby. Be your own support system. Be your own support system. Work on yourself. And then you'll be able to manifest everything else that you want. Love will come is the message that I'm getting here. So I feel like this message for you, Sag, was really a message for you to get your shit together. Love will come. A lot of you are keeping yourself stuck because, again, you stuck on the past. And I feel like y'all are so focused on, you know, what has happened and what has ended in your life and what didn't go well and what didn't go as you expected it to and as planned that you're not even realizing that you got so many more opportunities right in front of you or right next to you, right behind you. It's not far from you. But a lot of you fail to see what it is that's around you, that are blessings, that are gifts from the universe, because you're too stuck on this one cup. Okay? It's like, I don't know if this is a good analogy, but it's like, let's just say you got an ice cream cone and you drop the ice cream cone on the ground. And all you're doing is staring at that ice cream cone, pissed the fuck off, because you're like, yo, I only got maybe one or two licks out of that i want the whole damn ice cream cone my ice cream cone just fell man i done came all the way down here for ice cream and i just dropped my cone yeah i'm mad but what you fail to realize is it's an ice cream truck behind you giving out free ice cream cones you know what i'm saying it's that type of situation there's so much more in store for you sag and you just you focused on what didn't work out you know between you and this past person and I can't tell you how to feel, baby. Everybody's process and everybody's healing is different, baby. And I understand that. But what I also understand here is that you're keeping yourself blocked and you're keeping yourself stagnant right now. You're blocking your own blessings by not releasing this. I will tell you that. So feel how you're going to feel, Sash. But don't, pit, don't you know, have some self-pity. Don't, don't wallow in this self-pity. Okay? Don't keep yourself like this. Yeah, a lot of you are feeling very burdened very burdened could be dealing with an aries or scorpio i think i said that earlier a lot of y'all are feeling burdened by this this situation okay five of wands there's a lot of conflict here in your life sash there's a lot of conflict here in your life i'm seeing here with at least three people you arguing with multiple people some of y'all arguing with people that y'all work with that y'all do business with y'all got conflict with people that y'all at work with for what you, you fighting with people at work because you mad about your love life? You mad about your personal life? And you bringing that shit over into the work environment? Come on, Sag, you don't do that. Separate business from personal. Leave that shit at the door. When you come to work, you need to be professional. Stop projecting your fucking emotions onto other people, Sag. And I know y'all might get mad at me, but Sag, y'all know I keep it real, baby. Y'all know I keep it real. And this is really the messages that I'm getting for you. It's just season and it's time to get your shit together. It's time to get your shit together. So, it's time to get your shit together. For real. That's what I'm going to title this reading. So, there should be no confusion. This 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 reading, I feel like, was a read. Like, I just read y'all. This was a read. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know, like Atlanta Housewives, they be like, ooh, girl, I, you, she just read you. Yeah, this, this was a read, Sag. I just got up in some of y'all asses. And I know this message may be triggering for some of y'all, but it's time for y'all to really uh, get y'all shit together. Y'all treating people bad around y'all that don't got nothing to do with this situation. Come on, stop taking that shit out on other people. I see some of y'all taking that shit out on people that y'all work with. Come on now. No, that's not what we about to do. Uh-uh, Sagittarius couples. That shit just pissed me off. Sag, I wish you a lot of healing, baby, and I hope that you can enjoy your season, okay? I really do. I want you to enjoy the rest of your season, babe. All right, Sagittarius couple. Sagittarius that are currently in relationships. Spare, what messages do you have for the star sign of Sagittarius that are in relationships? Okay? You two need to talk. Okay, the messages are just falling out. Okay. Yeah, I see equal give and take here. You two need to talk about some equal give and take. 
Sag, you you be okay. You could be waiting on your partner to uh, put in some effort. You feel like the effort is not being reciprocated. Okay, a lot of you are watching your partner. You don't trust them. Okay. Some of you thinking about leaving this person. If they don't do their half, they don't do their part. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I'm seeing here. I got strong air energy. Somebody with strong air in their chart. Sag, this is also pointing out to me that a lot of you are ignoring your intuition when it comes to this person. Okay? Because you don't want things to end between you and this person. A lot of y'all are just fixated on this person because of what they could do for you in bed. I'm really seeing that. So, Sag, your person is a... Uh, be knocking that shit down <laughs> and i feel like you know you ignoring the fact that they don't really they don't really come through in other areas of the relationship so this is telling me this is the kind of story i'm getting sad i'm seeing here that you and your partner have y'all are intimate and the sex the love making is incredible there's a lot of passion here between you and you two you could be dealing with a fire sign uh, aries leo sag somebody with strong fire but I feel like you and this person have a lot of, you know, passion, a, a lot of sexual chemistry, okay? And the sex is amazing. However, when it comes to other parts of the relationship, there's no equal give and take, Sag. This is telling me that you're the one that could be doing all the work, baby. I have the Five of Pentacles here and I have the King of Cups reversed. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But this is also pointing out to me that this person is emotionally immature and they don't really express themselves that well. This is somebody that is not openly expressive with you when it comes to their emotions. And I have the Five of Pentacles here too, which is telling me that this person could be on the verge of leaving you or you could be leaving this person because you are becoming fed up with the fact that they can't offer you nothing else but dick. Or, you know cookies you know whatever yeah it's a burden this connection is a burden it's time for you to close out this cycle yeah all it is is sex am I, that's what i'm seeing it's just sex i feel like this person will betray you at some point if this hasn't happened already they will betray you Sag, this is yeah there's no commitment here the higher font reverse you could be dealing with a taurus but i just see a unstable connection there's a lot of instability here this person is still dealing with somebody. They're dealing with somebody else other than you, Sag. And you ignoring this. You intuitively already know that this person is dealing with somebody else, but you choose to ignore this. Stop ignoring the signs that are cautioning you. It's time for you to close out this cycle, Sag. Stop ignoring the signs that are cautioning you. Stop ignoring the red flags. Stop ignoring your intuition. You know that this person is a liar. You know that this person keeps secrets. You know that you're worth more than this. So, Sag, what is the problem, baby? The sex is that good? Come on now. It's more to life than that. Anybody, you know, you can find out anywhere. Any, you know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that's good and bad, I'm sure. Yeah, Sag, you deserve much more. Universe is sending you signals, Sag, couples and singles. Y'all both got the judgment in reverse. So Sag, you just been ignoring a lot of a lot of shit the universe has been trying to tell you. Come on now. Come on, Sag. You deserve so much better than this. Like, come on, for real. Stop ignoring your intuition. Stop ignoring your intuition, Sag. This person will betray you if they haven't already. Or if they have, they're going to do it again. Listen up for the signs, y'all. Sagittarius dealing with Aries in the month of December. Spare, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are dealing with Aries in the month of December? Okay. The woman in this situation is hesitating. She don't know if she want to give to this. She closing off her heart space. Okay. But I see that you two... Are uh, ending okay, Sagittarius and Aries. I feel like this connection between you two is ending, and someone is really distraught over this and stuck in their head. Okay, I'm also seeing here that finances could be an issue as well. Somebody here could have lost their job recently. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. I feel like this could have been you, baby. Whoever was the woman in this situation, the more feminine energy, I feel like she could have lost her job. She's going through hard times, she's feeling stuck in life. Okay. 
yeah you and aries i don't really see this you two um remaining together i don't see you two remaining connected i feel like somebody is going through a lot of other personal problems a loss of a job or, or a home or something like that the hermit card yes sagittarius this could be you you probably just want to be left alone during this time Aries, here you are showing up at the bottom of the deck. Aries, you want things to work out between you and the Sag. But like I said, I felt like it wasn't going to work. And look what I got, the Tower card. So Sagittarius and Aries, I don't know. The month of December is not looking too good for y'all. Somebody needs to work on themselves. Somebody needs to work on themselves, and they know that. They're going into hermit mode. Hermit mode is working on yourself, practicing solitude. Creating distance between you and you and your person. Okay. Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Taurus. What's going on with Sagittarius and Taurus connections in the month of December? What's going on with Sagittarius and Taurus connections in the month of December? I have the sun reverse. What's going on with Sagittarius and Taurus? Month of December. I have a breakup, a separation here. I see that there's a lot of toxic energy here between you two. You two don't communicate very well. Okay, the communication is not flowing freely between you two. I see a lot of unhappiness here for you and Taurus. I see betrayal here, okay, the Ten of Swords. And I see here that you two need to talk about this. There's some secrets here between you two. Okay, someone's keeping secrets. Someone could also have a third party that's a Pisces or a Capricorn or a Libra. Yeah. But, yeah, Sagittarius and Taurus, this is not working. I feel like someone here in this situation is codependent and they keep going back. So, you two could have a lot of in and out energy, making up, breaking up. But this is telling me that this is not going anywhere long term. This is not going to be a successful connection. All you two do is fight. This is not a successful uh, connection, Sagittarius and Taurus. All you two is fighting. And somebody here is codependent. All they do is keep going back. Keep going back keep reading the same motherfucking story you already know how the story is gonna end you know how this this story is gonna play out you know how these things are gonna go you know how this situation is gonna go but yet you still keep returning because you codependent you gotta work on yourself sagittarius that could be you taurus that could be you that could be both of y'all all right sagittarius you're dealing with a gemini sagittarius and gemini connections in the month of december okay somebody here is a liar could be the Gemini. King of Cups reverse. Somebody could have strong water in their chart. I feel like it's the man in this situation. He is not in love anymore. I feel like he got a Libra or a Taurus on his mind instead. Or an Aries. Yeah, he's showing up as somebody that's going towards an Aries. And Sagittarius is over between you and this Gemini. He's going towards somebody else. He's going towards the Empress and the Fool. So he could be going towards an Aries, a Libra, or a Taurus, or somebody with those placements in their chart. But he don't have the love for you anymore that he once had for you, Sag. Sagittarius, he's dealing with a Cancer. Sagittarius dealing with Cancers in the month of December. Sagittarius and Cancer in the month of December. Somebody here is a liar. Okay, somebody could be getting out of jail here as well. Somebody was locked up, they're getting out of jail. Somebody is lying about being locked up. Somebody here got a lot of options too. I feel like it's the cancer. Sagittarius, you telling me that you upset, you unhappy with this cancer. You feel like this cancer keeps secrets from you? They do. But you want everything with them. You want a family with them. You want to have this cancer's babies. Yeah, some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant by this cancer. Okay? Some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant by this cancer. And I see here that the man in this situation does not want the baby. I see a lot of sadness here, depression, betrayal. I have the tower card here too. So if you're pregnant with this, this cancer's baby or cancer, you're pregnant with this Sagittarius baby, the man in this situation does not want the baby. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Leo. Okay. Sagittarius, dealing with Leos. Okay, I see an offer here. Leo, here you are. Leo, I feel like it's you. You have an offer for this Sag. You feeling this Sag. You want to work together with this Sag. You want partnership. Okay, yeah, you making a move towards the Sagittarius after not moving 
in the past, after not getting up off your ass in the past. I see here that you two could have some conflict in the past, but I see reconciliation between you two. So yeah, Sagittarius and Leo, that's looking like it could be very successful. I see um, a positive uh, reconciliation. I see you two reconnecting with one another after some conflict in the past, okay? Can't never get these cards up. All right. Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Virgo in the month of December, baby. Sagittarius and Virgos in the month of December. Sagittarius and Virgo. Sagittarius and Virgo. Okay, I see here that you two could share a home together and have children together, possibly. All right. Sagittarius and Virgo, this is telling me that somebody here could have been dealing with an Aquarius on the side or a Leo on the side. They betrayed you. Okay, but I see here. That the Virgo wants to reconnect. But someone here, the woman in the situation doesn't want it anymore. She feels too betrayed. And Virgo, she's telling me, yeah, Sagittarius is telling me that she feels like you're manipulative, Virgo. So she don't really, she not really feeling you. You two are not on the same page. I feel like it's the Virgo in this situation. If he's the man, the Virgo wants this and the Sagittarius woman does not want this. All right. Sagittarius. You're dealing with a Libra, Sagittarius and Libra connections in the month of December, Sagittarius and Libra. I have betrayal here, okay? Someone here is pretending that they're okay and they're really not, I'm seeing. They're really hurt, they're really sad. Okay, here's this Libra coming towards you. I feel like the Libra is trying to make you feel better, Sag. Okay, they trying to give you some words of encouragement. I feel like the Libra is offering you friendship. They offering you companionship, partnership. They realize that you're going through a lot and that you're very sad during this time. I feel like the Libra is trying to uplift you. Okay. This Libra is trying to uplift you, Sag. They are. They trying to help you walk away from something that was toxic in your life. Okay. They communicating with you. And they're making you feel better. So I feel like this Libra is coming in to, in to your light to help you, you know, regain your strength and your power, Sash. I really see a positive connection between you and this Libra. It could lead to romance, but I'm seeing here more so of someone that's just being, just, you know, just helping. You know, being a shoulder to cry on, just listening to you. Being someone that you could vent to and openly, you know, talk to about your feelings and what it is you're going through. This Libra is making you feel better, Sash. Okay. Sagittarius, you're dealing with a Scorpio in the month of December. Sagittarius and Scorpios in the month of December. Okay. Sagittarius, here you are, baby, showing up in the reverse. You are fucking irritated by this Scorpio. I feel like this Scorpio is pissing you the fuck off. They irritating. They know how to push your buttons. You getting stressed out. You over them. You overwhelmed by this person. Okay, I feel like a lot of you, this Scorpio is trying to communicate with you. Yeah, they trying to talk to you, Sag. What's going on with this? They trying to work together with you. They trying to sleep with you. So they making an offer towards you to only sleep with you, and then they gonna retreat and they gonna they gonna hide. This is ridiculous. I feel like this is an ongoing cycle with this Scorpio. So they only come towards you when they're trying to sleep with you and get you in bed. And then once they get what they want, they go back to being missing. They go back, you know, to being MIA. This motherfucker is very in and out. They come, get what they want from you, and then they go, they ghost you. Yeah, this is a tower moment here. This needs to end Sag. The universe is saying end this cycle with this uh, Scorpio. All they do is come get some from you and then they go shoot afterwards. And they've done this to you multiple times. So stop letting this person do this shit to you. Sagittarius. You dealing with another Sagittarius. Sagittarius dealing with other Sagittarius in the month of December. Okay. Sagittarius. Ooh, damn. Okay. I feel like someone here is suffering from anxiety. You need to go get a new set of uh, pills, is what I just heard. So y'all getting new medications in the month of December is what I just got. That was a down, random download I just got. Also, someone here could be out of work. 
looking for a new job, you will get you will get the new job, okay? You will get the new job. I know you're feeling overwhelmed right now because you're out of work. You will get the new job. For others of you, I see here that your unemployment is being extended. So you will still uh, receive some money, okay? You're still going to get some money. Don't you worry about that. A lot of you will be hearing back from multiple jobs that you um, apply to. And Sagittarius dealing with other Sagittarius. I'm seeing here that some secrets are being revealed. And y'all need to talk about this shit. Somebody here betrayed the other person. Okay. I feel like whoever betrayed the other person wants to talk about it. They own it up to what the fuck they did. They taking responsibility. They apologizing. And I see you two healing this. And still coming together. So Sagittarius, you dealing with another Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are healing whatever happened between y'all in the past. Whatever secret is being revealed in the month of December. You two are healing that and coming together. And also a lot of you are um, finding new jobs after being out of work for some time. Okay. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Capricorn in the month of December. Sagittarius dealing with Capricorns in the month of December. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius that are currently dealing with Capricorns? Okay, I have unhappiness here. Somebody here is very sad, very upset. Because you guys are not talking, Sag and Capricorn. I feel like you're not talking. Or if you are talking, you're not talking about what you actually need to talk about. Y'all talking about dumb shit. Sagittarius, here you are in the Tempest Reverse. You're getting frustrated with this cap. You're getting irritated. Okay? Because y'all not talking what needs to be... Y'all not talking about what needs to be talked about. Sag, you want a commitment from this cap. And this Capricorn is showing up as somebody that is not committing. They are not making an offer towards you at all. I'm Sagittarius, you ready for a higher form of commitment? A lot of you could be waiting on um, engagement... You want to get married. You waiting for this Capricorn to propose to you. And they not proposing. They don't want to get married. Y'all not on the same page. I feel like that's what's being revealed to you in the month of December. A lot of y'all could have been expecting the engagement for Christmas. That's what, that's what you thought your Christmas gift was going to be a ring. And it's not. I see a lot of tension and conflict here between you two. And somebody is moving away from the other person. Because they realize that this person doesn't want to get married to them. They don't want a relationship with them. Whatever. Whatever it is. Whether you want the ring or you just want to be exclusive, you want the title. I see that you're not getting it from this cap and you're getting upset and you're moving on. I see you two even possibly having a few choice of words for each other, arguing and shit like that. And then somebody moving on. And if you two live together, then somebody is moving out. Okay. Sagittarius, you're dealing with an Aquarius in the month of December. Sagittarius and Aquarius connections in the month of December. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Okay, I see a celebration here. I see drinks. Celebration time. Come on. That's what I just heard. Y'all celebrating. Y'all having a good time. Okay. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Y'all having a good time. Yeah. Y'all celebrating a new job opportunity. Somebody here just got a car. Congratulations. Y'all about to drive. Y'all about to go somewhere. Y'all about to have fun. Y'all about to celebrate. Yeah, I see an offer coming in here. You two love one another, okay? Yeah, Sagittarius, you love this Aquarius. This Aquarius love you. I feel like you two have a lot to celebrate. There's a lot of happiness here. Yeah, Aquarius, here you are as a star card. Aquarius could have just opened up a business for themselves. Sagittarius, that's what y'all could be celebrating. I also see a new home here for you two. You two could be moving in together, or you two could just be moving into a different home, a new home. I see a lot of happiness here for you, uh, Sagittarius and Aquarius. Y'all look very happy together. Congratulations on this new beginning. Some of you could be expanding your families as well. Meaning, y'all could be getting pregnant, so congratulations, too. Okay, Sagittarius and Aquarius, very good energy. Sagittarius, you dealing with a Pisces baby? What's going on with Sagittarius and Pisces in the month of December? Okay. Sagittarius and Pisces. Sagittarius and Pisces in the month of December. Okay. Pisces is acting a fool. Pisces is being immature, being very flighty, being very in and out. Sagittarius, you want to talk to this Pisces. This Pisces is not opening up to you. I see here that you love them. You want to talk to them, but they're not opening up. They rather lie to you than to tell you the truth, than to tell you how they feel. I feel like they lying about their feelings, to be exact. Yeah, I feel like this person is... You restless over this person, or this Pisces is restless over you. 
I'm seeing here that someone is fighting addictions as well. This is becoming a major issue between the two of you. This is affecting a relationship between you two. Yeah. Someone here is very petty as well. They give the other person the silent treatment. I feel like it's the Pisces that gives the Sagittarius the silent treatment. Yeah, you two need to talk. You guys need to talk. That's the only way this is going to work. If you guys don't talk, I see a lot of happiness here and a potential fight. Like a physical fight. Alright, so if y'all don't talk, somebody here going to get real frustrated. And I see that shit actually turning physical. So y'all be careful in the month of December with them Pisces. All right, Sagittarius, that was your love messages for the month of December, baby. I hope it resonated for you. Drop a comment if it did, okay? Like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, Sag, I wish you the best in December. I know the messages was, you know, a lot. Y'all could probably be feeling like I was telling y'all off. I'm sorry, trigger warning, right? You know, but that was just some real shit. Y'all know I... I I tell y'all what I see, you know, I don't sugarcoat nothing. So, Sag, I feel like a lot of y'all have a lot to look forward to, but you just need to release a lot that you've been holding on to from the past, okay, baby? So, as long as you can release that, learn to forgive and move on, I see a successful and bright future for a lot of you, all right, Sag? I wish you the best in your um, your love life and your career. You know, I wish you the best just overall in general, okay? Stay safe. Enjoy your season. Try to enjoy your season the best that you can. And until next time, Sag, bye.